Hi. Happy Monday and welcome to the first day of WP Summer School, which stands for WordPress, WordPress Summer School. My name is Rebecca and I'm the owner of BexMarie.com and this group, the Creative Biz Clubhouse. I am a web designer and a soap maker. I love handmade business so much and that is why it's my mission to help handmade business owners succeed when it comes to creating their own website and all of the tech stuff that comes with having a website and selling your products online. Um, today, I'm very excited to be starting this new series I'm doing um, called WP Summer School. And today I wanna talk about a very popular multi-purpose plugin, like a multi-functional plugin for WordPress. First, I want to back up a little bit in case you don't really know what WordPress is or what a plugin is. Um, basically, WordPress is what is known as a content management system or a CMS. And basically what that means is that it's a platform that will help you build your website. So you can um, put in pages, you can set up your menu, you can add in your content, which is your words, the words on the page and your images on the page. And then you can pick out a theme or a template, which is basically your design and what it will look like. And then um, you can change your design style, your theme. You can change that whenever you need to update your look. You can add new content easily by just clicking on like add a new page and then you start making your page. So it's different than back in the old days when you were to make a website, you would basically be starting in a text document and just be typing out HTML code. So nowadays it's a lot easier because there are these content management systems or website builders or website platforms, whatever you want to call them. WordPress is just one of those platforms that allow you to easily create a website nowadays. Some other ones that you might have heard of are Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, um, Shopify, BigCommerce, trying to think. There's a lot of different, there's so many different options. Um, but WordPress is the most popular. It's the number one um, website CMS in terms of popularity for many, many years. I think at least seven, I'm sure longer than that. And then also in the year 2016, the top three fastest growing platforms were WordPress, Shopify, and Squarespace. So when handmade business owners are asking which platform they should go with, I'm usually telling them one of those three because they're both, they're all three very, very solid platforms. But okay, so now that we're talking about WordPress, now you know what WordPress is. I love WordPress. I use it. I recommend it. I build all my clients' websites with WordPress. That's why I wanted to do this, um, this series, WordPress Summer School. So there's two different ways you can kind of like customize and add on to your WordPress site. And that is one is themes, which are your designs. You can add like install a theme or you can add plugins. And that is like features. The plugin part is there's like lots of different features that you can add to your site. You can add a contact form. You could add a photo gallery. You could add a portfolio. You could add, I mean, so many different things, a calendar, events, a shop. Usually these types of features and functionality are added to your site with plugins. This week, mostly what I'm going to be talking about is how to accomplish certain tasks and features, like how to do certain things with your website. I'm going to show you how to do it with a specific plugin. So today I'm going to talk about like a very popular multi-function plugin, like the Swiss Army knife of plugins. The reason I want to talk about this plugin first is because it covers a lot of the basic features that pretty much everyone is going to want on their site. Like if they're pretty common. Most websites are going to have a lot of these features. So I figured I would start here because I think that most of you will probably want this plugin. There's a good chance that you're going to want to implement many of these features on your site. So if all of these features can be done with just one plugin, this is it. The plugin I'm talking about is called Jetpack. Um, it's kind of, like I said, like the Swiss Army knife because 
It has several different tools all rolled into one handy plugin. I'm just gonna list like a bunch of features and you can just think in your head like, oh yeah, I want that. Oh yeah, I want that. And there's maybe keep a tally on your hands like as I go down this list. So here are some blogging features that Jetpack would add on to your blog. You would be able to automatically share your posts onto social media like once you hit the publish button. Like you don't have to then go to Facebook or Twitter and like actually tweet out your blog post. It's automatic once you hit the publish button. Um, you can allow users, so visitors to your website, they can click a subscribe button onto your blog and automatically get email notifications when you hit publish. Um, you can add social share buttons to your posts so that that would encourage people to share your content. Um, the fourth one would be having related posts at the bottom. So when they finish reading, it's like somebody's on your site, they're reading your blog post. When they get down to the bottom, they're going to see related posts and it's going to have some some other posts that are probably going to be interesting to them because they're similar in nature. And then the fifth thing that it does with like blog related features is that um, you know how when you have a blog, people can usually comment underneath and like so they leave comments. A lot of times this gets taken advantage of by spammy bots and you just get like tons of Viagra messages. <laughs> on your blog. So um, there's actually like a built-in spam filter in Jetpack. So if you want to use some of those features, that's like good features for if you have a blog. Even if you're not going to use a blog um, on your website and you're just going to have strictly a website, there are some other features that Jetpack could um, help you with. So Jetpack can offer you site statistics. So kind of like how many visitors are on your site and you can do this with Google Analytics and get like a lot more detailed information, but the Jetpack site stats are just kind of right there in your dashboard and they're easy to access. So site stats, uptime monitoring, which basically means like, is your website up right now or is it down and something's wrong? Um, Jetpack will email you if your website's down. So then you will know and then it'll email you when it goes back up and tell you how many minutes your website was down. It does have some basic security. So um, one really important thing with WordPress is that you keep your website secure because you are in complete control over everything and you have complete ownership. So it's your responsibility to keep your site secure. So Jetpack does have some basic security. Number four is that Jetpack will create sitemaps. And this is um, a sitemap is basically kind of like a coded version of all of the pages on your site. Um, it's called an XML sitemap, but basically it's good for search engine optimization because it tells Google like what are all of the pages on your website so that it knows to go check out and, and index every page on your site. So Jetpack does some SEO stuff because it does help with your sitemaps. And also there is a section inside Jetpack where you can verify your website with the different search engines. So that's like five technical type features that Jetpack offers. And then additionally, just kind of random features that Jetpack has, um, that it does allow you to create a very simple contact form. So if you're not gonna have a lot of fancy customized forms on your website and you just need a simple contact form, Jetpack has that built in. And then also, um, if your website is going to have like a sidebar of different kind of stuff like links and menus or whatever, um, or even in the footer, there's usually a space where you can put like little, um, they're called widgets. It's kind of just like, I don't really know how to explain what a widget is, but it, it's a little feature or a little menu or a search bar or like text widget or a photo widget, kind of like little modules that you can put on your page um, that's outside of the main content area. So there's like the main content of your page and then you usually will have like a sidebar. You might have a sidebar, you don't have to, or a footer. And in the footer, there might be like quick links or a, co a co little contact about us or contact us, or you might have all your social media icons where they can go like 
check you out on social media. Those types of things are, are called widgets. Um, and Jetpack adds in like a bunch of extra widgets that you can choose from. Like WordPress already has a bunch standard, but Jetpack adds in some more. <laughs> that was a lot, I know. But if you were keeping track of some of those and thinking like, oh yeah, I want that. Oh yeah, I want that. And you think that maybe three or four or more like of those features sound like something you want on your website, then I would go ahead and get Jetpack. So um, now I'm going to flip it over to show my screen. I'm going to show you how to actually get Jetpack into your WordPress website. So I just wanted to show you this in case you wanted to learn more about Jetpack. Um, this is not where you would go to uh, download it or install it necessarily, but it is a good place where you can learn more about all of the different features, where you can see different screenshots, um, see some common questions about Jetpack, and also to view some of like kind of the generic statistics with every WordPress plugin, you can go to um, wordpress.org slash plugins. And that page looks like this, Word, wordpress.org slash plugins. And you can see um, the most common popular plugins. And, and you can just search for a plugin. But yeah, pretty much always Jetpack is on this front page because it is so popular. And then anytime you check out the details about a plugin, you'll see stuff like this, like what version they're on, um, when it was last updated, how many active installations are there. So right now, um, Jetpack is active on over 3 million websites. Across here, you can, you know, read some of the reviews. You can um, learn more about the installation support, development, all this stuff. Okay, so... Another place you can learn more about Jetpack is to just go right to jetpack.com. So this is the website that kind of goes through all of its features and explains more. And um, there is actually a paid version if you want to upgrade and get even more features. Everything I just talked about when I was listing all those features, those are all of the features that are included in the free version that you can just easily install right onto your site. If you want more features, you can upgrade and on here it'll explain like what the difference is. So let's go into a live WordPress website and I wanna show you exactly what you would do if you're on your website and you want to install Jetpack onto your site. It's pretty easy. You're just gonna go over here to plugins and then you can just click add new. And honestly, it's actually probably just gonna be right here on the front page. You wouldn't even have to search for it, but let's say it's not, you could just go search for it. So you're just gonna start typing in Jetpack. And there it is right there. So the easiest way to do this is just click install now. It's going to start installing then you want to activate it. This is like a slightly tricky part. It's confusing when you get Jetpack because since they are owned by Automatic, who owns WordPress.com, you have to create a WordPress.com account to get Jetpack set up. So basically what you're gonna do is um, go ahead and click connect. And once you get over to WordPress.com, which is, like I said, owned by Automatic, then this is where you're, you're going to have to either log in to your WordPress.com account or you will register for an account. Um, unfortunately, you do need to have a WordPress.com account, just and it's free. You just have to sign up and register, but that way you can get um, Jetpack to work. So hopefully you don't have any trouble getting it set up, but I just did want to give you fair warning that you will have to go through this little hoop before getting um, your plugin to work. All right, so after you get after you get it logged in, it's going to tell you, it's going to ask you to finish your connection. You're just going to like approve. It's going to show your site up here and then your account. Um, you might not have a picture. I had already set up a picture in my uh, WordPress.com account. 
and then it's going to basically um, connect your site. Then, you know, they're going to try and sell you on one of their premium versions. Like I said, if you want to check out the, um, the differences in the different levels, you can go to jetpack.com slash pricing. There are personal and there are business accounts. And it just has like lots of different features. So it'll show you, um, you know, basically what features you might want. And then you can decide. If you just want to start with free, you can just click that and, and get out of here. Then you're going to be taken back to your WordPress site. And it's going to try and like walk you through um, the Jetpack setup. So you can just click this, activate recommended features, or you can actually go to Jetpack and go to settings and then walk through each setting individually and turn it on or off. So each of these um, features is just like a little toggle button. So you can just go through each tab at the top and toggle on and off the different features that you want. I do recommend that you just turn on what you're gonna use. And if you're not gonna use something, go ahead and turn it off. And if you need any help, there is always um, in the settings at the bottom of every screen, there's this little box. So you can go ask a question or get support. Um, if you want more like one-on-one -on -one support, that's when you would have to upgrade to a paid version. But yeah, so this is where you can access every single different feature through Jetpack. So that's pretty much it for our first day of WordPress summer school. I hope that you learned a lot about Jetpack and um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about Jetpack or about WordPress and plugins and themes and whatnot. Um, I think at some point during this week, I will do like a Facebook Live so that we can do like a Q&A and I can get to know you guys a little bit better. Um, but most of the daily lessons are going to be, I'm, I think all the daily lessons are going to be pre-recorded and then I'm gonna put them into the into the group. Um, hopefully all of the other videos are not as long as this one because I wanna keep it you know short and to the point and then you can get on with your day because I know you guys are all very busy. So thanks for joining me and I will see you tomorrow when we talk about how to sell your own products on your website with a different plugin that is going to um, help you set up a shopping cart and facilitate people purchasing products, going through checkout, setting up shipping options and all that. So I know that that's gonna be a good one tomorrow. So see ya.